And we're learning much more about the Hoover police officer shot on Sunday, as well as the man accused of opening fire on police leading to that standoff. WVTM 13's Magdalo Lusant joining us live in Hoover to tell us what charges that 31 year old Bessemer man is facing. Ian Evan Lucas is facing three counts of attempted murder for allegedly firing five to six shots at a family on I-459. Hoover police say it all started at 1125 Sunday morning on the northbound side. A man, his wife and young son were in the car driving between Morgan Road and John Hawkins Parkway when they saw Evan Lucas allegedly point a gun at them shortly after that. The, shortly after that call, police found him at the hills at Hoover apartment complex where the standoff and shootout with police happened. The chief says one of the responding officers was shot in both arms. Neighbors in the complex shared this picture with us of an officer with blood pouring down his arms. The department is not telling us the officer's name, but the chief says he has he is a veteran with 12 years of experience under his belt. Half that time has been spent with Hoover PD. He's also worked at Birmingham and Dothan Police Departments. I know what he did at the scene uh, was 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 phenomenal. Uh, he, he's getting shot. But he's returning fire also, and uh, and then we had another officer that was on the scene that uh, that uh, returned fire. Uh, excellent job on their part. Excellent job on everybody's part on the scene. And, and like I say, uh, unless you're there, uh, these things happen so fast, and and and, and the reaction uh, that you take, you hopefully the training kicks in, and uh, I think it did in this particular case. Oh, Magdala, I want to go back to the charges uh, you mentioned. Do we know if more charges uh, could be coming for the suspect? Yes, more charges could be coming for Lu for Lucas. Those charges would be coming for from Aaliyah, actually. We're still waiting for them to finish their investigation uh, for the charges related to the shootout at the apartment complex. Now, there are two officers who are on administrative leave. One of those officers is the officer that was shot. So we're still waiting again for Aaliyah to release those charges. And once they do, we'll be sure to update you on air and online. We're live in Hoover this evening. I'm Magdala Lusant, WV1013.